with this following question. How many different sample sizes of n equals 3? Ibig sabihin, sample size mo, 3. Kung nanggaling ka sa iba't ibang klaseng population size. So, from our topics in the midterms, we always denote the population size as capital N. And small n kapag sample size. That is given if the population is of finite size, of course. Ibig sabihin, countable. N is your small n or sample size. Okay. Let's say I have a first given. What if my n, capital N, is equal to 4? Of course, one way to do it is to list them by assigning arbitrary values. Let's say we have four different stuff. I can name them A, B, C, and D. And I'm gonna get samples of size 3. So, ito yung population. Okay, sorry. This is our population. And then we're gonna get samples of size 3. You can think of it that out of 4, we are just choosing 3. Yan. So, out of 4, we choose 3. First, we could have a, B, C. We could have A, B, D. Mm. Let's say we have B, C, D. Let me think of the other. A, B, C, A, B, D, B, C, D, and C, D, A. It doesn't matter kung naka-range. Lagay natin note dito. Order does not matter. Ibig sabihin, basta magkaasama yung tatlo, okay na sila. So, in this case, A, B, C, A, B, D, B, C, D, and C, D, A. Therefore, there are four samples of size 3. So, another example. Example number 2. What if our capital N is, let's say, 6? So, of course, you're gonna enumerate A, B, C, D, E, F. That is your population. So, of course, iisa-isahin natin siya ulit kung ano yung lalabas sa samples niya. Now, samples of size, sabi niya, 3. So, we would have, of course, A, B, C. A, B, C. A, B, D. A, B, E. A, B, F. Now, one tip here is to systematically list them so that hindi kayo nalilito. So, we would have next B, C, D. B, C, E. B, C, F. So, once you're done with B, C, let's go to C, D, E. C, D, E. C, D, F. Mm -hmm. After C, D, E, C, D, F. We have D, E, F. Now, now, 
we're going to check if lahat ba na isulat na natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, let's see if meron pa tayong kulang. Mm -hmm. We actually have TEA. TEB. D E C okay. then we are actually have C D F we don't have C D E A few moments later Okay That was a long time so what if you are given the same scenario sample size of 3 coming from let's say number 1 n equals 20 of course compared to this one we list but what if the only question is how many samples the question is how many sample many samples if that's the only question you don't need to list per se now kagaya na sabi ko kanina out of 20 in the population choose 3 so si 20 yan yung capital N and ito siya yung ating small n which is the sample size so if you are familiar with this with this statement out of 20, you choose 3. Parang pareho lang siya ng 20, choose 3. So, just a recall of combinatorics. Uh, capital N, C, small n. This is the number of combination chosen small n at a time. So, in this case, n c n is equal to capital N factorial over small n factorial capital N minus N factorial also recall N factorial is equal to capital N N minus 1 N minus 2 dot 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 up to 3 times 2 times 1 so example let's say 4 factorial it is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So that would be 24. So in our case, we'll just have a new paper. If n equals 20, and a sample size of 3, the solution for that one is you would have 20 C 3 so that would be 20 factorial over 3 factorial times 20 minus 3 factorial 20 factorial over 3 factorial times 17 factorial 
if I'm going to simplify it further, so I have 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 factorial over 3 factorial times 17 factorial. So I can cancel that one. By the way, this is just a review of our grade 10 mathematics curriculum. So somehow, if you have notes from your last year on your junior high, you can somehow use it. Pwede nyo siyang gamitin. So meron tayong 20 times 19 times 18. And we know that 3 factorial here is actually 6. So I can cancel this. I can cancel that one. 18 divided by 6 as I have 3. So I would have 20 times 19 times 3. Now using your calculator, you can do it. So that is actually 20 times 20 times, times 3. So we would have 1140 samples of size 3. Now, what matters most is that we know how to list, especially if it is small, kung konti lang naman, kaya natin siya ilista. Pero pag medyo malaki, of course, we are going to use some softwares to help us get what are the different, let's say, samples. Okay? Now, proceeding to the next part, so in this case, a population of five numbers. So, yung population natin. Population of five numbers is 2, 3, 6, 8, and 11. Our task is to list all samples of size 2. Ibig sabihin, tigda dalawa. So, I would write it in red. samples of size 2 so of course we would have 2 3 okay let me just arrange this one we have 2 3 2 6 2 8 2 11 Three six, three eight, three eleven, two three four five six seven. So we would have six eight. Just scrap this. Then I have six eleven and I have eight eleven. So if we're going to take the average corresponding average then two two plus three is five divided by two two plus three is five divided by two is two point five. 2 plus 6 is 8 divided by 2 is 4 2 plus 8 is 10 divided by 2 is 5 2 plus 11 is 13 divided by 2 is 6.5 3 plus 6 so I'm just gonna write it or I'm gonna repeat na lang I'm gonna write the mean at na blue 2 plus 5 is 2.5 so 4 5 2 11 13 divided by 2 is 6.5 3 plus 6 is 9 divided by 2 is 4.5 3 plus 8 is 11 divided by 2 is 5.5 3 plus 11 
is 14 divided by 2 is 7 6 plus 8 is also 14 divided by 2 is 7 6 plus 11 is 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 and 8 times 8 plus 11 is 17 divided by 2 is 8.5 now that is actually our sampling distribution of course when we talk about distribution we're gonna arrange the means so we're gonna create a table like this denoting of the sample mean and their frequency how many times siyang lumabas so in this case i-arrange lang naman natin yung mga means natin so I have 2.5 I have 4 I have 4.5 I have 5 I have 5.5 and let's say do we have a 6? No, we don't have a 6, but we have a 6.5. We have a 7, we have a 7.5, and we have an 8.5. When we're creating a sampling distribution, just like before that we are doing our frequency distributions, we're going to count how many times that the sample mean 2.5 appear. So in this case, we have 1. For 4, we also have 1. 4.5, we have 1. For 5, we have 1. For 5.5, for we have 1. For 6.5, we have 1. For 7, we have 2. For 7.5, we have 1. For 8.5, we have 1. So, the thing here is, the total of the frequency must be equal to the number of samples that we have created. So we have 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10. So if the frequency is equal to the number of samples that we have, it sabihin tama yung sampling distribution na nagawa natin. So, for this example, that's it. Let's go on to the next example. Ayan. Same given, pero ang tanong naman ngayon, size 3. So again, ang population natin ay 2, 3, 6, 8, and 11. If we're, go if we're going to answer, or we are going to ask how many samples are we going to write number of samples diba may formula tayo capital N C small n so that would be ang capital N natin is the number of data in the population we have 5 choose how many size or how many samples Sample size, or rather, gano karami yung elements ng sample dapat? 3. So, we have 5 factorial over 3 factorial, 5 minus 3 factorial. So, we have 5 factorial over 3 factorial, 2 factorial. So, 5 times 4 times 3 factorial over 3 factorial, 2 factorial. We cancel this one. So we have 20 over 2 factorial. All in all, we must have 10 samples. So again, take the tatlo ulit. So I'm going to write samples of size 3. Then 2, 3, 6. 2, 3, 8, 2, 3, 
Let me open. Next is two six eight and two six eleven. Last one is two eight eleven. So we're done for two. Next one is three. So we have three six. Have three, six, eleven. Next one is three, eight, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. So we would have six, eight, eleven. So in this case, we're gonna solve for the averages of all of them. So, pause na lang muna natin yung video habang sinasagot ako siya. So, I want you to try also answering it on your own para alam natin kung masusundan ba. I would write the averages in blue. So 3.66. So I have 4.33. 2 plus 3 plus 11. So I have 5.33. 2 plus 6 plus 8 2 plus 6 plus 8 we have 16 divided by 3 also have 5.33 2 plus 6 plus 11 is 19 divided by 3 is 6.33 2 plus 8 plus 11 is 21 divided by 3 is 7 3 plus 6 plus 8 is 17 divided by 3 is 5.66 repeating 3 plus 6 plus 11 is 20 divided by 3 is about 6.66 3 plus 8 plus 11 divided by 3 is 7.33 and the last one is 6 plus 8 plus 11 divided by 3 is 8.33 now what we're gonna do is we're going to again write all the means in a table arrange it from lowest to highest so starting from 3.66 4.33 so I have 5.33 I have 5.66 I have 6.63 6.66 I have 7 here I have 7.33 and 8.33 then for the other side we have frequency I'm gonna write it in red 3.66 appeared once once 
target twice, five point six six once, sixty three is once, once, one. So the total frequency must be again equal to the total number of samples. So if we're gonna write total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that would be ten. And from that we can actually draw our frequency distribution so that we could have our histogram later on and I, and I believe you have already learned how to create a histogram for this kind of data okay